Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Big Blue Blob campaign in Europe Universalis 4. Uh, so if we tried to peace out England right now and went for anything above up there, we have the minus 1,000 demanding provinces without any occupied forts in the area. So it's just not possible to take that land um, without that happening. Scotland will not be called in because they are just not willing to. So we can't count on them to siege down a fort. Question is, do we want to try to take Calais in this war as well? The aggressive expansion is not enough to cause a coalition. And I do think that Calais is, is going to be a good province. It does cost some Diplo points. I don't know though. Calais is 13 development. It's, uh, it's not the staple port yet. He hasn't been able to do that decision. But it does give us the ability to claim along the coast here. And it gives us more coring range, which I think we might need. So I think we might go for it, and I think we'll also have it as soon as he gets down to low enthusiasm. And if we could get rid of this negative war score from the, uh, the 8.5 from Lyonnais. He's willing to accept peace right now for the four cores. Negative 17 for this one, so we just need this back. Please tell me that the siege guy stayed in charge. He did, good. Alright, let's send Jean, this dude, up north. How close can you get? You can get through to there. What's the number, the shortest path we can take? Whatever, just just go, we'll just start asking for access and just marching our way up there. It's only going to be a, a little bit of Diplo as we march our way up. Let's not try to take the straight. We're going to march this 15 stack of infantry up onto Holston. And the thing is that I need to, in order to take land from Denmark, I need war score. So I'm going to have to siege down mid Jilland, siege down North Jilland, and then peace out separately. What do you know? He's actually got a pretty sizable army there. Not interested really in participating in that fight though. Alright, so you guys are up to... there. Military access map mode would be so convenient. What are we looking at now? Did I forget anybody? Did I miss anybody? Military access through Sax Lundberg, which is you. Okay, so only one more to cancel. This is a non a fort that does not provide Access. You know, we don't we don't need this siege. Let's just march up to North Jilland. Sixty is not quite enough. I think it's just gonna come down to that damn fort right there. And we have a disease outbreak, nice. That siege up there might take quite a while, we'll see. We are losing a lot of money. Reinforcements are quite costly, apparently. Forts are expensive. It's a temporary expense, though. As soon as we reinforce, we'll be fine. We had to take out a loan. Hip states the, uh... Curia controller. Might not be a bad idea to improve relations with them. Let's cancel that military access with Sax Lomberg. That puts us back at our, uh... Our relationship limit, I hope. Yes, we're good. Sweden is losing their war, but they have high enthusiasm because we're in the war. I 
can't wait till I have like a bigger area around me so my forts are more useful. I hate having these little countries around that can, can march everywhere. And England's going to cause some problems. They've actually managed to get 25,000 troops over here. Look at this. This is crazy. Back up to medium enthusiasm. But I think that when this thing falls, he's going to surrender. Your war exhaustion is high. Okay. I mean, I could bring these troops up that way and go do that. But that one battle is not going to be worth a lot of war score, really. It's not like he's going to actually succeed in sieging down Paris in any kind of speed. 35,000 troops between them now. But all your forts are occupied and now he's willing to surrender. So, um, why don't we wait just a tiny bit more. If I could get that damn thing back, I might be able to squeeze out war reps and we're already so close to getting it back. We might as well just go like two or three more months. There's nothing he can do that's going to suddenly cause him to change his enthusiasm or something. Come on, 21%. Let's just take it. Just give me some luck, game. Luck, 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 lucky, lucky. Damn it. Alright, 67 war score. Suddenly he's willing to do a little bit more. Can we take war reps? I doubt it. Oh, it's so close. Now we'd have to wait. Why take war reps? I don't know. Because we took out a loan. So he owes me money. Thank you, Aragon and Castile. Appreciate your help. So we get all five. We get all that stuff, no coalition, we're good. Okay, um, that was our mission. Conquer Maine, improve relations with Navarra, improve our prestige. That seems good, sure, that one sounds like something we're probably going to do. Now that we're not at war with people that really matter, we can turn off all these forts. He said earlier, never turn off your forts, then he turns off all his forts. I know. I know, I know, I know. Uh, we don't need a fort in Pribaren. I'd rather keep the one in Calais, or Laborde. The ones on the coast that are easy. Like, I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of putting forts in, in mountains all the time, because you know, I'd rather they get stuck sieging down plains so that I can come and engage them. So. Okay, uh, we do need to core that province. Hopefully that gives us coring range on Nord Jilland. Almost. Looks like we will need to take, like, Slevzik or something. Well, actually, I think we need a core on Calais before that counts, so... Let's just... Let's just siege these things down. Don't worry, Sweden. We're gonna win your war. It's gonna happen. Uh, now our navy can come out and play. So, let's go do that. Naval battle... We've got four heavies, so we, we just win. England has allied Provence. So that means if we wanted to go to war with England right away again, we could just immediately do that. Hey, end of the Hundred Years' War. We'll take the, uh... We'll take the level 2 stability. Alright, back to our focus on, like, Leinster and all that. Did you fabricate any claims? You did. That's good. Munster. You are small enough and willing enough to become a vassal, and you already have two provinces, and you have claims on nothing. So what, what was the idea? I, I forget now. Um, the whole idea about taking one of you guys as a vassal was that it gave me increased coring range, and it allowed me to declare wars, and then I could take land up here for myself.
I think we just try to vassalize Munster. I think we go for that. Royal marriages from these two. Um, it's it's. Hmm. We gotta decide. What's the likelihood that that Castile and Aragon are gonna attack each other? Well, I know that if you have a royal marriage, um, then you lose one stability for attacking someone. The issue is that it would be that they would attack, they wouldn't call us in, and then we get the defensive call. So most likely it's going to be Castile attacks Aragon, and then we have to defend Aragon against Castile. And I'd just rather not do that. Especially since Castile is going to end up getting the Iberian wedding 90% of the time. So there's like no point doing that. I think Aragon, you've served your purpose. Castile, we will keep you around. Um, Aragon, we're probably going to end up breaking your relationship so we can pick up a relationship with that guy. Sure, Portugal, you can have access. That seems fine to me. Okay, we're making money now. We did get war reps from England. We're going to want to just move in and blockade that port. I don't think that there's anything that their navy can do. Inland seas or not, doesn't make any difference. Four heavies is way too strong. Speaking of heavies, let's build more heavies. So we gain more naval force limit. And Aragon broke their alliance with Navarra. Do we want Navarra for ourselves? Who cares about Navarra? Aragon's domineering, so they broke their alliance. Makes sense. Let me guess, you have the vassalized missions, so you're going to attack them. Do I care about one province that Castile's going to want? I don't think so. I think we focus on Scandinavia. Just let them do whatever they want down there. We're not going to engage Spain. Like, it's just no point. If we're going to do this this achievement, it's not going to be about that. And we're not fighting in inland seas, so that's good. And he's coming to reinforce. No, he's not. We're just killing some navies. Cool. Unfortunately, we are out of control range. Uh, would you give me fleet basing, please? Okay... Poland, if I wasn't in a war, would you... Well, actually, I'm not in an offensive war. You would accept an alliance. Cool. Okay, our 17 versus their 20. They do have 8 galleys, but we have 4 heavies. We should be seeing them lose ships. The very bottom, we've got a bark that's about to sink. Yeah, they've reinforced pretty well. We're gonna go land. Uh, we didn't lose any ships and we killed one light. That's good enough to start with. I am still gonna want fleet basing from Sweden. Is this gonna get cost me a relationship slot? No, it doesn't. That or I already have uh Yeah, we already have an alliance with them, that's why. We might need to wait for a couple more heavies, but speak. Come, you know, come to think of it, we do have. Um, it'd be easier to fight out here. We could just try to use the transports to shift a couple troops up to Norjilland, like a troop, really. Totally out of manpower, or did they just suffer a... Okay, looks like the war... 100 years... Uh, the, uh, what's it called? War of the Roses, I think, is firing. Okay, we'll get Nordjill and Siege down. Our individual war score against them is at... Zero right now, but when we take their fort and then we blockade their capital, I think we'll be able to take that province. And we'll leave Sweden high and dry. 
Um, I mean, actually, I'd pre kind of prefer for Sweden to be independent, but we're going to want to attack Sweden eventually. That's, we want all their land. We don't want to uh, actually make them strong. I don't believe we get full repairs in an occupied province. I think it's only half. I think we get 5% per tick. Let's wait and see what we get. From 23, we go up to... We will lose the... We're going to kill the peasants. Alright, one more time. I want to pay attention. 23 goes up to... That's not good. Well, our siege progress is already at 4. I'd hate to break that. He's going to be there on the second, and then he's going to engage that four stack, so unfortunately we have to. Sixth, fifth. Alright, well we just have to fight him. 23 goes to 33. Okay, so we do get 10% in an occupied province. Okay. You suck. I hate you for doing this. 23rd, we will be there on the 25th, so that means that my one stack is dead. And I can't get all the way to him. Stop focusing on me. Perhaps we should just send more troops up. Maybe we get lucky and they survive for two cycles. I doubt it, but... But maybe. Nope. Whatever, we didn't need those guys anyway. So we're continuing to lose manpower. But... We also have ships that are on their way, and uh, soon they'll be complete. I, I think I am. I think I'm going to ask for some more military access. We'll just send some more troops up that way. Denmark's at low enthusiasm, but Sweden doesn't have enough war, war score to actually demand independence. If I don't get this damn siege done, then I'm not going to be able to, to actually demand anything from them. I want to kill that two stack. Wait, one tick. Get a little bit of reinforcement here. We'll leave behind six regiments, 6,000 troops. Then take the other six across. We'll kill it. Even with a, the uh, crossing penalty or whatever it is. Oh, you know what? We need to get that guy up there, too. Bring him up. I don't really want to do that again. Do I have to? Do I have to? Don't want to. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. And, uh, you know what? In the next video, I think we'll be doing what we can. We have pretty good monarch points overall. Tech four is coming up soon. We've been paying the head of paying for the extra general. It's no problem. Focusing on diplo doesn't really make any sense. It starts off that way because you used to start off France as a bunch with a bunch of vassals, but um, it also kind of averages out our leaders. It's not a big deal. If anything, I'd probably prefer to focus on um, on admin. But for now, we'll just remove the focus because I want military and admin. And we can't change it too often, but that doesn't matter too much. Still making money. Our force limit went up when we got that land back as well. So there's plenty of available room. Of course you're going to cause problems. So kill that army. 
And then because we can, we'll march this way. We'll leave behind one guy that is at full strength. We'll go engage them again. I don't think I need to send more troops up here. Alright, we will reorganize these two. Doesn't even say which guy. So the siege guy, Jean Barreau. We need him to stay over here. Just maintain your siege for a second. Let's go kill this army. Something like that should be good. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.